Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd share with you a couple of gift ideas that I am using for a upcoming Secret Santa white elephant gift exchange at work with my fellow co-teachers. I bought a couple things. Most of these items are things that I would like to receive. So I'm hoping that, you know, everyone pretty receptive in receiving these gifts. When we do our little gift exchange at our holiday party in the next upcoming week, I went to several stores and bought a couple things here and there and just over the course of the past like month or so. So really I'm like an early bird when it comes to kind of shopping for small little gifts to give. I kind of keep an eye out for things here and there and then when the month of December arrives, I've already got all my gifts that I can pick from to give to, you know, whoever that I'm gonna give a gift to. These items are under probably 10 bucks a piece, so not too bad. So let's take a closer look at what I bought. Okay, so I picked up some cute little Christmas cards at the Target dollar spot that I think would work well for any gift that you're giving. Even if you're just gonna do a card and just maybe tuck a gift card inside, but they're very simple in terms of color and like the print. It's not too, too Christmassy, but it does look really nice and festive. And you can just add like a gift card to that, like, you know, maybe a Target gift card or even keeping it simple and going with like a gas card or your local grocery store gift card. I honestly would like to get like either the gas card or a grocery store gift card. You know, we all shop at the grocery stores and then you can do like either a restaurant card or whatnot. A little tip that I do for my gift cards, I always write in the upper corner, I put like a little sticker and then I will write like the value of what the gift card is. And then every time I use that gift card, I just kind of cross that out and then I'll put like the remaining balance because I always forget or I either throw the receipt away and it usually has the balance on there. But if you just put a piece of a sticker or like a label and write what the value is, because sometimes they don't have a spot on there to write the gift card, but that's sort of a way to keep track of what is on the gift card. But you can also do like Amazon gift cards, just kind of keep it generic and really basic. And these little Christmas cards at Target were only a dollar a piece, so that's not bad. And I just picked up a couple of those that I can use and give those to fellow teachers. Okay, so I picked up a gift bag when I was at the Target dollar spot, and this is one of the wine bags. It's the narrower gift bag, but I thought this would be good for holding like a candle and just kind of stuffing this all the way up. It comes with a cute little ribbon and like a little gift tag to write like the name and whatnot on there, um, but that was just real cute and festive with all the red and green. And I also grabbed some of these labels. These are teacher-specific labels, so that's why I picked them up so I didn't have to make any. Um, I do have a sticker shop, and so I was like, well, I'll just buy them. But they just say for a special teacher, but that's plenty enough that I can use to make small Small little gifts to pass out to the teachers. Put them on the little cards or even on like some candy canes or something like that. But I thought I would use these labels also. I'm going to be making cookies and I thought these would be cute on the back of the cellophane bags. Just kind of you know an individual cookie for each teacher that they can decorate when I do the DIY cookie box. And who doesn't like a pair of nice fuzzy socks? I ended up finding a couple pairs of fuzzy socks actually at two different stores. So I bought the gray ones from the dollar spot at Target. Is What is it called? The dollar spot or the bulls? bullseye playground these were a pack of two gray fuzzy socks for three dollars and then i found these red ones which are super cute um, and like the peppermint stripe is the second pair but i like i love that and these were at Joann, and these are from the brand Hildy and Joe. And these were actually a little bit more pricier, but $10. But they were having their sale, like 60% off holiday items. You could just do the fuzzy socks and a card and have that as a gift. And sticking with the warm and cozy vibe of the gifts, I found a pair of gloves from two different stores. So I bought a pair of the mittens from Target. This is their brand, A New Day. And then I picked these gloves up here from Joann's. It's a two-pack, which you can easily split and have multiple gifts to give. This would pair well with those fuzzy socks. Just put one of each in the gift bag and that's like a set of something to give. But these two packs were $3 at Joann's and it's the brand The Five Twine. And I found these at checkout as well for $2.99. I think they were also on like the half off or 60%. So it was basically a dollar for each pair of glove. Not too bad. And those are the stretchy like unisex gloves. So this is good for like a guy or a girl. And then the pink ones here, which are my favorite. This is like my new favorite color, this like rose pink. I'm obsessed with this pink, but from the brand A New Day. And I believe these were $10. Um, let's see. Yes, those were $10. And Target is also having like their sales. If you just kind of check the weekly ads, you can find a lot of their items on special. But these are those mittens that cover, like you can fold the flap down or either fold it back and have your fingers exposed this way or just cover the whole top. I thought gloves would be good to give the teachers because we're on the playground and sometimes it's a little bit chilly. And so having a pair of gloves would be good, especially being here in Texas, we're not really thinking about cold weather gear. But to get this as a gift, that 
something that you can keep like in your teacher closet and you always have them on hand when we go outside on the playground. So at Trader Joe's, they have their Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream. It's a trio pack this year. Last year, I believe it was a box of four because I bought several of those. These hand creams are my favorite. I love these things. I could not wait to get them this year, but there's like three different scents in here. There's a coconut one, there's a marula, and then there is avocado. And that's probably like my favorite one, the avocado one, but they're very moisturizing. They're comparable to the L'Occitane hand creams if you've purchased those before and you know how pricey they are. This whole thing of three one ounce tubes was seven dollars at Trader Joe's that's a pretty good deal because one tube of the L'Occitane hand cream is like 12 to 13 dollars at Sephora so you know get those stock up on those if you can get some for yourself get them for extra gifts I'm planning to go back to get some more I love scarves and this infinity scarf I think this would be really nice to give as a gift you know being as it's a neutral color I found this at Target last year. You can find these at pretty much any store. I've seen them at my local grocery store. I've seen them at Walgreens, but it's just a simple little scarf that you can wrap around like either once or twice just to keep your neck warm. But that playground can be a little bit chilly when that wind whips around that corner. And so having a little scarf like this, and like I said, I would probably just keep this at work in my teacher cabinet. And this would be great to give as a gift along with a pack of those gloves. You can find them in an assortment of colors, but I really like this a lot. It's super soft and it's a very neutral gift to give. Reusable tote bags are like a must have and these foldable reusable tote bags are really compact and lightweight you can put this in your coat pocket and you will never forget a bag so I always buy these at Ikea all the time they come in an assortment of colors like there's black red and navy and it's got like the little black and white you know pattern here and then like a solid front but it's like a pocket that folds inside itself they're great for travel you can keep these in the side pocket in your car so you always have a bag on hand and you'll reach into your car door you know into your pocket and take that out and you've got bags with you you can throw these into your purse and it doesn't weigh like hardly anything it's sort of like that nylon umbrella material but they work great for like groceries it's a pretty good size as well and they only cost like a couple of bucks so pick up a couple of those put those in some fun gift bags it's something that you wouldn't think to like give as a gift but like when you get it you're like oh my gosh this gift is pretty good this is a pretty cool gift and another reusable bag is a cute makeup pouch I found this at Target for about three bucks it's just a cute little reusable pouch that you can put like makeup you can put little um like feminine products in here. I thought it was really pretty with like the red plaid kind of festive look. It's got a fuzzy pom-pom on the top of the zipper and the zipper is a pretty good quality and the, the space inside is pretty it's a pretty decent amount of space but you can easily fill this with other items or just give this as it is but I would totally love to get like the zipper cases. I love zipper pouches. These are great for travel or you can use this and keep it in your car and put like some emergency items and then just keep that tucked in your glove box but with it being like a festive color that'd be fun to put like in your bag for the fall and winter season. I feel like candles are a really good kind of gift to give when you don't know what to give. Just a scented candle because you don't have to necessarily burn it, especially if it's a candle that has a strong scent that's like you just open the lid and you can smell and it kind of carries throughout the room. But I love the Mrs. Myers candles. I just picked this up at my local grocery store for a couple bucks. I think it was like nine bucks. I picked this up in the lavender scent. It's a pretty basic scent. Um, it's like a nice soft floral scent, nothing too, too strong. Uh, the little candles I think are going to be good to add into a gift bag either by themselves and just add like a couple of like a box match or a lighter to go along with that and you can do that as the gift or you can add it with other items as well yeah candles are a way to go if you don't know what to give okay I feel like water bottles are like everybody has one you carry one in your bag you're, you're walking around the neighborhood with a water bottle when you work out you take them with you to the gym I found this one at Starbucks just for a couple bucks I believe it was like five bucks and I found this inside the Starbucks that's located inside the Target but I feel like that's the way to go that's like a little tip if you're looking for the specialty cut check the, the Starbucks that are located in a Target because those are not heavily advertised versus the ones that are along the highway but you can always find like the specialty cups and this was just sitting at the end near the checkout I thought it was pretty neat because it has a little hook here that you can hold Hold. if you're going for a walk like in the neighborhood you can just kind of hold that or if you're at the gym you can kind of hold that when you're walking around from machine to machine easy refill for water you could probably just put a little bit of water at the bottom and it's plastic it's like a hard sturdy plastic but you could probably put a little bit of water at the bottom pop this into the freezer and then in the morning when you go work out take this out and then fill it with some water and you've got cold water with you another cup that I bought is a tumbler a water tumbler and I found this at my local grocery store HEB it's from the heaven and key line collection and it's similar to those Yeti cups I bought this for myself because everybody and their mama I have seen they're DIYing these cups with fancy glitter and I'm gonna attempt to do that and be crafty so this is a 30 ounce tumbler this is about 12 bucks at my local grocery store it keeps your 
your water chilled with like the ice for a couple of hours. So like I said, I'm gonna try to DIY this. That might be a future video. I'm not quite sure yet. This will be like a fun project that I'm gonna work on. I just picked up the white kind of like iridescent one. It's pretty as it is, but I just really wanna like slap some glitter on here cause you know, that's like, I feel like everybody's being all fancy with their cups, but I'm gonna attempt to do that. And another cup that I found at Target, I bought this last year, it was like $3. They have similar like coffee cup styles at Target this year. You know, this one has the state of Virginia on it, but you can easily kind of DIY this. And if you are into like using a Cricut machine or a silhouette with like the vinyl, you can make your own sticker and just kind of put that on there and cover up whatever design comes on the cup. I just like the whole idea, like it was white with like the black rim. I thought that was like really pretty. DIY if you're super crafty, go that route for like a presentation for a gift. And you can fill this with like coffee, like a little small bag of coffee or some cocoa packs and have that as a fun gift to give. This is a gift that I would love to get, like notebooks. I am obsessed with notebooks. I mean, you know, hello, I'm a planner girl. I love notebooks and planners and pens. So just giving a notebook, just from Erin Condren, it's called the Take Note Notebook. It's a classic lined notebook, but this is great for like, you know, using at work. You know, the teachers can use it when we have staff meetings and take notes. You can use it to take notes when you're having conferencing with your parents or just notes in general. And then just a nice assortment of like pens. This is like a lettering pen, just black ink. These were from like the craft store. I bought those a while ago I haven't opened them up yet but that would be like a fun gift to give on its own just like so you can even you know I would probably make some stickers being a sticker girl you know having my own sticker shop I would probably make some stickers but these notebooks are like nice sturdy quality and these are what's the size and the size is five by eight and a quarter here's a little shameless plug if you're wanting to buy an Erin Condren notebook or planner I have a link below in the description box to save ten dollars off your first purchase but anyway that's just a fun little gift that you can put in a gift bag for like a gift exchange okay so I do have have an item that is a little bit on the pricier side. I bought it when it was on sale and it's this really pretty threshold throw that I purchased from Target. And like I said, I mean, it's on the pricier side, but honestly, like, come on, who would not like to have a throw blanket just to like have that on your couch. If you're, you know, watching movies, you just cuddle up with a blanket and it is just the standard 50 by 60 in size, but like, you know, it's very holiday-ish with like the green and the black, but it's not too holiday-ish. Um, it's great for like, you know, the winter time or even like right now in the fall. Originally it was $25. I bought it on sale at Target. Like you just keep checking the ads. Eventually the items go back on sale before, you know, the holiday arrives and you can get it marked down or whatever. It already has a little gift tag on here. Just fill that out like that to give and you know who it's from and whatnot but it's just a super soft cotton with the fringe on the edge it's something you, again something you wouldn't think of but when you get it you're like oh this would make an awesome like gift like this is a pretty cool gift okay something to think about when you're doing a little gift bag you need to have fillers so I think candy is a good way to add a filler into a bag so I've just picked up an assortment of chocolate I personally am not like a fan of chocolate and um, I love caramel like I'm a big fan of caramel but I know a lot of people do love chocolate so I just stuck with like something simple like M&Ms. I bought like little Hershey Kisses. I've never seen this in a little stick form. There's probably like a dozen or so Hershey Kisses in this little stick. I bought like the little candy cane Hershey bar. It's like the mint, the peppermint white chocolate, and then the traditional solid milk chocolate bar. And that would these would all fit perfectly in those little gift bags. And then I bought a multi-pack of like candy canes. I'm actually gonna use the candy canes to pass out to my friends in class to sort of like tuck those in their little bags on our last day before our winter break. I do this every year. They tend to love the little peppermints. Their parents just break, the, break them into like little pieces and they eat a little bit, you know, each day or whatever. But um, they really love getting those little candy canes. Uh, don't forget about the fillers. Just always pick up like some extra candy or some gum. That's just something fun to kind of add. Well, I hope you like that little white elephant secret Santa gift guide just something simple and fun to do if you're participating in these like fun festive activities at work you know like I said these are good for when you're going to a dinner party and you're bringing those little fun gifts that you can even exchange or do we really like it and do a swap out at the end but if you have ideas for little gifts leave them down below and I will see you in the next video bye well that's it for this video thanks for watching and if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button down below also click that notification bell so you'll instantly know when i post a video have a good one i'll see you in the next one bye